Assalamualaikum and welcome to Wealth with Wahid, where we talk all matters relating to wealth and how you can invest in line with your faith. My name is Adam and today I'd like to talk about Wahid FTSE USA Sharia Exchange Traded Fund, or Halal for short. By the end of this session, I would hope that I can impart some knowledge to hopefully help you listeners to use and utilize whenever it comes to making a decision when it comes to your investments with Wahid. There are three points that I like to touch upon. Let's just get into it. The first point is actually talking about the overall performance of the Halal ETF, whereby since inception back in 2019, Halal has been able to deliver 68% of positive returns. When you compare this to the conventional benchmark in the S&P 500, it has outperformed throughout the same period. So what does this actually mean for you as an investor? It means that for each 100 ringgit that you've invested, you would have made more than 20 ringgit throughout that same time. Now, whenever it comes to investments and whatnot, we always have to remember that there is risk involved. The market will move up and down and your capital will always be at risk. Just like in life, never really is a smooth sailing journey. You might come across some rocky shores, some tidal waves, some thunderous storms. We've seen COVID, geopolitical tension, the federal rate hikes and other factors that has impacted the actual value of halal. What has become of this? You know, it has instilled fear in people to invest where they're starting to hold on to cash. But we can see that the market has improved since early 2023. Despite all of the rough patches, Halal has been able to deliver above benchmark returns, assuming you stayed invested throughout the whole period. The key thing here for us to take into consideration is that when we understand the risks that are involved and we can stay invested to try and achieve our financial objective, inshallah, we'll be able to see favorable returns. Because otherwise, if you don't stay invested, you'll never know when you're going to miss out on the potential upside. So why exactly has Halal outperformed the benchmark? And I think it, this all boils down to the underlying companies that Halal has invested in. Being a fully Sharia compliant ETF, there is no exposure to the financial sector due to RIBA. And throughout this time, the, some of the occasions where financial institutions were badly impacted. And more recently, we can remember Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank both experiencing bank runs. And this is the time when Halal has managed to remain resilient because of no exposure to the financial sectors. Now, Halal's performance has been contributed due to its more than half allocation into tech and healthcare where throughout this time, it has boomed. To add a little bit of perspective, some of the top 10 holdings within the Halal includes big household names that you're going to be very familiar with, such as Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Johnson & Johnson. Now, the thing that I want to get across here is that there is no allocation on Halal ETF in the financial sector. That means there's more allocation towards the tech and healthcare, which actually equates to a better performance than the benchmark. In summary, the first point is that there's value in investing in Sharia compliant investments, whereas we can see that Halal has outperformed the benchmark of S&P 500. The second point is that we need to understand the risks that are involved in investing. You got to know your financial objectives and you got to stay invested, see favorable returns in the future. And finally, we talked about Halal's outperformance that is contributed to the underlying companies it invests in. Hopefully, you're now more informed on halal and I'll look forward to catch up with you in the next episode of Wealth with Wahid. Stay calm and stay invested. Assalamualaikum.